What's up guys, my name is Elias and in today's Spocket tutorial we are going to go over all of the different features that Spocket has to offer so that you guys will know how to use Spocket for dropshipping. Now, to get started on the same page, I will actually leave you a link to Spocket down below. Now, once you are right here, just make sure to click on get started on the top right and then you are going to have the option to actually start your free trial. In my case, I will just quickly put in my email as well as my password and then I'm going to sign up. And right here you are then basically going to have the option to actually get an AI generated store. Now, most of the time I wouldn't actually recommend you to do this because um, most of the time these stores are pretty bad. So I'm just going to click on no continue without it. And now we can actually skip all of these things right here. And now I'm just going to click on continue. And right here we will then actually have to get started by selecting our plan. Now, as you can see, they do have a starter plan, pro plan, as well as empire plan, and then also a unicorn plan. However, this unicorn plan most of the time is only going to be applicable for already established dropshipping sellers out there. So maybe the pro plan or the starter plan is going to be a better option for you guys. Now, in my case, I'm just going to quickly activate my free trial. Alright, perfect. Now I've activated my free trial and right away we can actually see the product catalog of Spocket. Now, in my opinion, the product catalog on Spocket is okay, don't get me wrong. However, comparing this to other tools like Sendrop or even AutoDS, uh, the Spocket product catalog, in my opinion, just lacks some of the basic dropshipping products that you would most likely sell. Because as you can see right here, most of these products are actually going to be almost impossible to actually dropship. Obviously there are also some good products out there, but generally speaking, these products aren't that good, at least from my experience. However, they do have one upside, which is that they do actually provide a EU warehouse. So, so basically, if you do want to dropship inside the EU, they are going to have special sellers just for that, which definitely is something which I have to highlight. Additionally, they also do offer USA shipping and you can even get products with fast USA shipping. I think these products are going to be delivered between one to three days, which is pretty mind blowing given that you are actually going to dropship these products. Additionally, you can actually also look for premium products right here. Um, actually, let me delete this. Okay. And then you can actually see all of the premium products on Spocket. Now, either way, Spocket actually also does offer an AliExpress import function. So let's, for example, just open up this drone right here. Um, if we're now going to open this up, we can see this import to Spocket button on the bottom right. Now we will have to basically log in onto our Spocket account. And once you've then logged in, the product actually has been imported onto Spocket. And as you can see, now that we are logged in, we can actually repeat this process with all sorts of other products. So let's, for example, go for this Logitech, um, Logitech mouse right here. So we can now just import this by clicking on this button. And now this successfully has been imported. And now all of the products that you have imported are going to show up under the import list button right here on the left. Now we will have to actually give this some time to update. And as you can see now after a couple of seconds, these products from AliExpress do show up right here. And we can now actually automatically push these products onto our Shopify store. Now, actually, I would recommend you to obviously um, also edit the products before you are going to sell these. The option to either do this in Spocket by actually changing up the description, variants and images right here, or you can also just do this later on in Shopify. So in my case, actually one thing which I do want to mention is that you can actually ask AI to write the product name, product tags and so on. In my case, I'm going to push this to my store right now. And now we will have to actually connect or Shopify store. Now, this is going to be pretty straightforward and if you don't already have a Shopify store, I will leave you a link to a free trial down below. Just head over to your Shopify admin panel and then head over to home, then view your online store right here and then copy the link from above. And now just paste this in onto, onto this thing right here, click on connect. And now this should automatically open up the Shopify Spocket app, which you will then have to install. And this just is so that Spocket is going to have access to all of the data and so on later on. So as you can see, now our store got connected and we can now actually head over to the import list and we can now actually push this product onto our store. 
So I'm just going to click on I'll do it later. We don't need to connect our AliExpress, product, uh, AliExpress account right now. And now after a co of couple of seconds, this should actually be pushed onto a store. So as you can see, now this has been done, I think. So let's now actually head over to our product section. And as you can see, now this product successfully got added and we are going to have all the description, the title, the media and so on. Now Spocket is also going to offer you a winning products function right here, um, which I think is nice to have, but generally speaking, other tools like Sandrop and Autodesk, once again, are going to have way more features for that. And, and I don't really know if these products on here are actual winning products, to be honest, I doubt it, okay? Um, either way, you are also going to have the option to actually private label some of the different kind of products that they do have available, which in my opinion actually is a great feature. These are going to be beauty products and you are only going to have access to a, a limited amount of them. However, still, this actually is a great feature in my opinion. Now, that's basically it. You are also going to have the reviews function right here, but other than that, you aren't going to have much more features on Spocket. In my personal opinion, other tools like AutoDS and SendDrop are actually more worth it and are actually going to give you guys more features. So I will actually leave you links to all of the tools mentioned down below. Thank you for watching, make sure to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful.